Nala is a 20-week-old ragdoll kitten who presented with a history of chronic upper respiratory and sneezing. She was from a breeder and has had some signs ever since the owner had her. A course of antibiotics will help with the clinical signs, but they never resolved. The Vamago was recommended and we found a sinus full of fluid. So you can see Pastorella was cultured and she was placed on the correct antibiotics for six weeks. And it was recommended that we recheck the scan after that, but her clinical signs never returned. Wally, Wally was a 14 year old American Cocker Spaniel. He presented for, he had a very long, large file, history of cardiac disease. He had urinary disease, also was having potential seizures, may have had sick sinus syndrome. Um, most recently was unable to stand or walk. And he has an enlarged adrenal gland with potential tumor on his adrenal gland. So it explains some of his, he also had increased liver values. So certainly explains that for us from some form of endocrinopathy. So this was a, a rabbit that was a pet rabbit who the owner's pet dog grabbed the pet rabbit, unfortunately shook him. His face looked pretty much normal when you looked at it, but I could tell when I felt it that I could feel some crepitation somewhere. So if you look really close at this 3D build, CT image, you can see some cracks right here. But when you look at it uh, on a 3D image, it's even more graphic to you. This is Lacey. She's a 10-year-old female spayed dachshund who presented on emergency with acute pain in her back and not able to use her back legs very well. She had CP deficits in both rear legs. The right was worse than the left and has a history of mild back pain. Um, radiographs were taken and pretty unremarkable other than some spondylosis at L4-5. Since she was already sedated for the x-rays, we went ahead and ran her through the Vimago. And then this is what we found. Poof! See this little disc right here? That didn't show up in those x-rays. For Lacey, we were able to make a diagnosis and get her treatment that night. The scan only took a minute and a half to run. Between the setup, the running the scan, reading it, the total time for diagnosis was 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. This patient was referred for an HDBI study for, by an external doctor. This patient had an ev evident megasophagus. With this obvious information, the doctor can plan his surgery and clearly explain to the owner the condition that the doc presents. So this is Jesse. He's an 11 year old male neuter lab who presented with a history of limping on his right front leg for over a month. We had taken radiographs initially, no radiographic changes were noted. He was happy go lefty acting himself, but continued to use his leg less and less. Um, so those are the x-rays that we took. Um, with Jesse not any better, we sedated him and ran the scan. What we found on the scan was amazing. As you can see on the first image, there's a huge tumor on the right chest wall that is completely effaced ribs three through five, extending from the chest cavity through the body wall. So here's some more images of the mass. You can see how extensive the damage from the mass was. While it was a sad outcome, we were able to determine why Jesse was progressively more and more painful. Here's those x-rays again, huge difference. So maybe going back and looking more like, well, maybe those are a little bit different, but definitely didn't see it the first time, not to the effect of how big this is, but we would never have seen that otherwise. 